August 1st, 11.30 p.m. The weather is going to deteriorate tomorrow night, so it's going to be a shorter, right. shorter dive. It's going to be a shorter dive. At a pre-dive brief, new search grids are established. The weather becomes topic of concern. August 2nd, 9.05 a.m. The subcrews begin deployment of Mir 2. 9.45 a.m. There is a light and humorous attitude among the team. If I don't come back, <laughs> miss me. Miss me a lot. It's a good day to die. No. Good day to die. Dive. 10 a.m. Crews are deployed. Everything is on schedule. It's 10.07. Just hit the water. Starting our descent momentarily. The top there unhooking us. Starting the surface bobbing around. 11 a.m. Systems checks are routinely followed. All are operational. 12.30 p.m. Mir 2 makes contact with ocean floor and begins their grid search and artifact recovery. They're on the other side. 4 p.m. The Keldish contacts the subs to inform them of bad weather. 5 p.m. Mir 2 requests extra time for artifact recovery as the team has found some interesting finds in a new debris field. 7 p.m. The crew is asked to return to the surface. Weather has picked up more than expected. 10 p.m. The Mir crew surfaces to high sea conditions. 10.10 p.m. The recovery team encounters problems maneuvering the sub. 10.20. The guideline from the crane breaks. 10.30. High seas cause the line to break for a second time. A piece from the housing is broken off and is brought back to the ship for repair. 10.50. Cold and tired, the recovery team is replaced by fresh personnel. 11 p.m. Line on Mir 2 broke. She smashed into the hull of the ship. Yeah. Where did it hit? The CO2 scrubbers that remove the carbon dioxide from the sphere have been forced yeah. from their binding. Hit the hull of the ship. 1125. The sub now has drifted out to sea a mile from the Keldish. Only a faint dimmer of light can be seen on the horizon. I'm sure the tensions are running pretty high inside the sub right now. Three misses. And, uh... 11.30 p.m. Fresh air is now a major concern for the three-team crew. They use wet rags to breathe through. The dog hatch is a last option. Two of the three crew would survive this decision. 11.52 p.m. Almost three hours later... Mir 2 is pulled from the cold waters to safety. Touchdown. You get a little apprehensive out there? In an hour? Are you kidding me? Yeah. I mean, we were rocked around out there like you wouldn't believe. Oh, oh I would believe. We saw every minute it was, of it. Uh, it was uh, actually uh, okay, pretty terrifying. Scary. We had had some problems with the uh, CO2 scrubbers in there, and one of them was real wet and started uh, causing smoke. So we were actually having our own emergency inside the cabin right? for the last 30 minutes, breathing through uh, wet rags and stuff. Uh, without being able to be recovered, so uh, yeah. it, was, it was hairy all the way around for us. So.